everyone you are welcome back to my channel it feels good to have you back once again so today i'm going to be sharing with us how to make an off shoulder dress recently one of my subscribers left a comment in the comment section asking if i could do a tutorial on how to draft an off shoulder dress so when i saw your comment and i want to say thank you for calling my attention to this so i hope after watching this tutorial you will be able to make yours and without further ado let's get started so guys i'm going to be making use of the basic bodies that we have up on the channel shoulder princessing version and as well as the basic sleeve so to find out check the link in the description box the basic sleeve that i'm using is not the high cap sleeve that we have up on the channel it is in one of the tutorials that i made about the bomber jacket so check out for the bomber jacket tutorial you will find out how to make that sleeve so now i am going to insert the under bust measurement my under bust measurement is 13 and a half inches and i'm going to square a line across Secondly, I'm going to contour the underbust measurement. So in order to give it a little bit of curve, so I'm going to go in by one inch more. And I will connect it and take the line down. I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to extend that line because by the time you join the that space, you are going to run out of fabric. So in order not to run out of fabric extend it by at least one inch or half an inch and reconnect to the side seam so i'm going to measure what i have there making sure the both sides are equal so if the both sides are not equal i'm going to extend the other side as well so i have six inches so i'm going to make sure the other side is six inches as well so i'm going to mark six inches and extend the line down and i will reconnect to the center front so by the time you join the dart you will discover you will still have the full half length of your blouse so now i am going to insert the depth of my neck so you decide the depth of your neck then on the above the bust line i'm going to insert where i want the cape to go across so from the apex point i'm going to go up by four inches and make my mark then towards the armhole area i am going to determine where i want the cape to cross that is my sleeve so i'm going to come down by three inches and make a mark then i will insert the width of the cape by three inches as well so now I am going to take my sleeve and place it the way I am trying to do right now and insert the measurement I inserted towards the armhole. This will serve me as a guide to know the extent that I am going to draw my sleeve. So I will insert the measurement that I inserted towards the armhole and match them together as you can see making sure that they are equal just ignore the down part of the sleeve just place it the way i did it and towards the shoulder seam line i'm going to come down by at least one and a half inch or two inches and make a mark So doing it this way will guide you and help you even if it's not 100% perfect but at least you will know the extent you're gonna draw your sleeve and at the end of the day you will achieve a good sleeve. So I'm going to draw the shoulder seam line down to insert the weight of the sleeve. So now I'm going to connect from the chest towards the above the bust line where I made the marks already and I will connect it to the shoulder seam line as well. So 
So at the shoulder seam line, I'm going to insert the width of the tape, which is 3 inches. And I'll make my mark. Then I will connect it towards the armhole area. So now you can see the cape is formed. So I'm going to come in by one inch at the end of the cape from the shoulder seam line. And I will connect it all. So now I am going to close the dart. So you will discover by the time I close this dart, I'm going to reconnect the cave towards the center front line. Because if you don't close the dart and draw it, it's not going to come out fine. So as you can see, the other side of the cape went up and the other side went down so I'm going to reconnect it back because our dart must be closed while making our dress hope you can see that so I'm going to join the lines together So now that the upper side of our cape is sorted out, so I'm going to open it up and so you can see how it's going to be. Then the downside of the cape, I'm still going to insert the 3 inches and I will connect it at that level. I don't want it to get to the bust point line, so take note of that. Don't allow it to get to the bust point level and our cape is sorted out so now i'm going to extend the side seam because of the dart that we removed so i'm going to be returning it towards the side so I'm going to return whatever that is missing at the center. And I will reconnect it, extending that handhold. So the areas I'm marking will be removed. So these areas are going to be removed. So when I want to cut my cape, I'm going to close that, that and cut it or you cut it then you close it and cut your final cape. So now you can see the extension towards the other that so we are going to extend that so from the under bust measurement I'm going to go down by one inch so that is the extent I'm going to connect the cape towards the other side of the that hope you can see that because you are going to tuck it inside that place and sew along your that. And I'm going to bring it down as well from the upper line. So that is how it's going to be. That is so that is how it's going to be at the end of the day. You just play along with it and draw it the way you want yours to be before your final cutting hope you can see my under bust level so 
also uh, it must exceed your underboss level at least by one inch so it will look better and nice at the end of the day so as you can see the pattern is ready so now i am going to start tracing off each of the panels one after the other So first of all, I'm going to trace the side of the bodies as well as the center front. So I'm going to trace the center front. When you are trying to cut out the fabric, please ensure the center front is on fold. Now I am going to cut them out. Then you will have times two of the side bodies while the center front is going to be folded. So now let's work on the back panel. So you remember how we did at the front. So I'm going to connect that level that we already marked towards the armhole area. I'm going to connect it the same way I did it at the front. So I'm going to insert the depth of my neckline and make a mark as well as the width of the cape, 3 inches, then I'm going to connect it towards the armhole as well as the sleeve side of the outfit. Then I will connect towards the center back. So this is how the back cape is going to look. Now I am going to trace off the cape. Please ensure you add your zipper allowance while trying to trace off the cape together with the back bodies So I'm going to take the front panel to make sure that my side seam is equal with what I have at the back side seam and I'm going to return the dart as well 
matching both the front and the back side together to ensure I have them at the same level and I will extend the armhole so now I'm going to cut through it And here we have our back panel. So now I'm going to trace off the front cape. As you can see, I'm going to trace it off together with the that. So after tracing it off, I'm going to close that cut off that dart and reconnect it where I suppose to reconnect it for my final cutting Please ensure you remove the dart and close that part before your final cutting as I just did right now. So now we have the front and the back panel sorted out but it's still remaining the other side of the front of the cake so you're gonna have times two of each of the panels except the center front panel because that one is going to be placed on fold so as you can see the front and back panels are sorted out so now for the other side of the cape of the front panel of the front of our outfit so we're going to make use of the other one that we've already drafted and stop at the center front level as you can see on the drawing on the other side the cape on the opposite side stops at the center front line so, but we're going to be making use of the already made one that we just drafted and cut it stopping at that level center front level so by the time you cut it at that level that is how it's going to be on the other side just ignore what you have underneath i'm just trying to demonstrate how it's going to look at the end of the day hope you can see that please ensure you add your seam allowance while cutting at that level it's very very important to add your seam allowance or else you will run out of fabric at the end of the day now that we have both the right side and the left side of the cape the front cape so i'm going to place them on my gum stay and give it a good press to harden the, the fabric a little bit
As you can see, I have my drumstick pressed on each of the panel and I ensure I remove the excesses. So now it is important to make sure you, you mark your notches, the boss point on each panel where you're supposed to join each of the panels to the other side. So it's important to take note of this so you don't misplace them. So you can match them at the exact point so that after making your outfit everything will come out perfect so you you make the notches as you have them on the paper that you already drafted use your original pattern paper to make these notches it's very very important so i'm trying to match the points where they're supposed to be matched together It's always important to refer to your original pattern paper for this so you don't make mistakes. So you look at the center front of the cape where I supposed to place it. So I'm making sure that everything that is placed correctly so now I am going to show you how you're gonna run your stitch. First of all, you're going to run your stitch on the K. As you can see the center front line level, that is the depth of the neck, where I placed the pin. So I'm going to run a stitch from that level, following my finger as I'm moving. You run it towards the armhole area and stop at that level. Then after running your stitch, you're going to turn it and give it a good press. Then you take the other cape. You place the other one on top of it. Then run your stitch from that level, from the armhole level coming towards the center front line and give it a little bit of slant. The reason why you have to slant it while running your stitch is for it not to show underneath of the other cape. I want to make something clear here. This is not the only option as in the only way you can join this cape. You can decide to tuck it in into the other one at the left it depends on how perfect and how good you are in sewing i can do it but for the purpose of this tutorial you just follow it this way because this is for beginners so you can decide to put it inside the other cape but you make sure you get it correctly so that they don't drag each other So now the capes are ready as you can see both the front so just like i was saying before you can decide to tuck it inside the other one but if you are not good yet if you are not perfect yet just do it this way let it drop underneath the other one all you need is to just tuck it on your dress and while the left one will just cover it as you can see, I've joined the blouse and I used my scissors to cut all those places. The notches, I inserted the notches where they're supposed to be to ease out the blouse, to ease the seam lines very well. So now I'm going to join the cape, placing it at the neckline. Hope you can see that very well. So after placing them where they're supposed to be, I'm going to take my lining and place the right side together and run a stitch at the neckline. Just ensure you place each of this cape 
where you made your notches it is very very important so you don't misplace the positions where they're supposed to be it's something that you have to do very carefully because this is the front of your dress you need to make sure you do it carefully and take your time to do it so that at the end of the day your dress will come out fine as you can see this one it came out fine just like i said this is not the only option or the only way you can do this but this is the easiest way to do it so i'm going to place my lining where it's supposed to be at that center front line matching them together Have, so now that I have pinned everything together, so I am going to run my stitch from that level one inch before the end of that place and run it towards the other side and stop at one inch. Then under the armhole area, I'm still going to run my stitch and I will stop where the cape stopped. I'm not going to run it through. This is to enable you close your armhole. So you will do the same thing on the opposite side. Then after this, you now turn it. So I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. So for the back panel, we are still going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my uh, cape for the back panel. So I will repeat the same thing. I'm going to run my stitch, close the down part of the cape while the upper side of the cape is going to be left open. Then I will use the, my lining to place on top of it and run my stitch. Then I will be back. Take a look at how you're gonna do that. Run your stitch towards this downside then you flip it over then take it and place it on where it's supposed to be then you can decide to add your zipper if you want to add your zip inside it depends on you it depends on how perfect you are you add your zipper and run everything together do the same thing we did at the front panel armhole so after doing this you will join your side seam that's not gonna be a problem once you get every other thing right the side seam is not gonna be a problem so for the down part of the outfit you can decide to cut 180 360 or 720 it depends on your preference on how you want the down part of it to be so you check the link in the description box to find out because i already have them on the channel how to make 180 360 degree and 720 degree circle skirt then you cut it and attach it towards the down part of your dress and that's all so thank you for your time thank you for watching as you can see the dress came out fine so guys hopefully this tutorial is going to help you achieve yours and i'll be glad if you come back to the channel to give me your feedback how you achieved yours and that will be all for now so thank you guys for your time thank you for your patience i appreciate each and every one of you and hope to see you guys soon bye